Hey queens and welcome back to my channel. What's up? Today we're going to talk about who benefits when you don't love yourself. Who benefits? Is it your kids? Your sister, your brothers, your friends? Who benefits when you don't love yourself? The truth of the matter is that the only people who benefit when you don't love yourself are the people who want to use you. That's the only people. The only people who get anything from you not thinking you all that in a bag of chips, not having confidence, are the people who want to manipulate you, who want to control you, the people who are not good enough for you and have to convince you that you're less than they are for you to stay with them. Because they know the moment that you realize who you are, the moment that you realize you're a daughter of God, the moment that you realize that you have worth, the moment that you realize you have value, queen, you gonna be like, oh, heck no. Let me get my purse. Let me get my coat. Let me get my checkbook. Let me get my cheering and get the heck up out of here because life is better than this. I know God got something better for me. On the other side of this, no one benefits but people who want to leech off of you. People who want to drain your spirit. People who want to drain your energy. People who don't want to see you doing better for yourself because they, they're not doing better for themselves. People who, who can't see the good in you because they can't see anything good in themselves. Queen, I'm telling there's people out here, men out here who will use you, abuse you, control you only because they don't want no one else to have you for no other purpose. They will walk in and out of your life Okay, have you up and down. Having you out here want to just go away everything. So you have to learn to look at yourself in the mirror. Whether you overweight, whether you think you're too skinny, whatever you have to be able to look. Whether you think your hair look don't look good, whether you think you don't have the money, the clothes, that you need the purse, the shoe. You have to be able to look in that mirror and say, This is what I'm working with. Let me make this the best I can. Let me fix my hair to look the best it can be. Let me do my makeup to look the best it can look. Let me fix my clothes to look the best they can look. Let me accessorize with my, my little cheap jewelry to look the best it can look. Because, you know, I've been, I've been to Walmart and I got some jewelry. And people was like, oh, that's nice. A shirt. Oh, that where'd you get that from? My little Walmart shirt. My Ross shirt. My TJ Maxx shirt. My hand-me-down, you know, Goodwill, Goodwill shirt. You have to learn how to take what you have and make it beautiful. And that's what I love about us women. We take something, we make, we take nothing, we make it something. Okay, we take this little bit of vegetables and this little bit of meat, we make a whole meal out of it. We take this little, you know, broke down, no, no good man, we try to make something out of it. We even make him better. Even though he's tearing us down, even though he's, you know, doing whatever, we make it better. We go to that job. And we do our work and we make it better. We take our children. We speak like we make them better. Okay, so don't let anyone th make you think that you don't have nothing to offer, offer. You know, you hear a lot about, you know, what do you bring to the table? I am the table, baby. Okay, I'm the table, the five course meal, the chairs, the candles, the dessert. You got to start seeing yourself as that. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're going to walk around here looking, oh, well, I ain't got much to offer. I hope somebody love me. I hope somebody look at me. I hope somebody care. And people can see that you don't love yourself. People can see that you just, you'll take anything. So that's why they give you little crumbs. And you keep thinking, oh, give me more. Give me more, please. I need, and they'll just string you along, honey. They will string you along until you broke, till you busted, till you're disgusted and you have nothing left. And it might have to take you coming to the end of your rope, the, the being at the bottom of the barrel for you to realize that I can't go any further down than this and the only way to go is up. So you start speaking over yourself. I am a queen. I am beautiful. I do have worth. My past does not determine my future. Okay? Every failure was a lesson and every test is turning into a triumph. Okay? Love yourself. Encourage yourself and encourage your children because they're watching you if you have them. Okay, love yourself, queen. If you need help, 
got my book love yourself first the love yourself first series is on amazon i got crystal after academy i got my first course on there self-love 101 it's totally free for now you better get it get it while you can because it ain't gonna be free forever mama gotta take care of these kids so we gonna do that now to help you sis go and sign up it's totally free you just put your email in that's it but i love you queen queen out keep your head up remember who you are till next time